Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, news are back after... I don't know how long it's been, but it feels long. Like, it feels like it's been a while since they had a comeback. Now, I remember reading that Aaron's is not going to necessarily participate in all of the activities and like promotion because of his health. I'm mentioning this because I'm wondering if he's going to be uh, dancing with all of the members every time or if there's going to be a moment in the music video where he's going to be isolated because of his health, you know what I mean? Anyways, I watched the teasers obviously and uh, I, I gotta be honest, one of the most impactful thing was probably because abs, <laughs> then blue hair as well. And I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that this is going to be aesthetic as hell. Like this is New East then again. So, all right, I do have the English caption zone inside out. Let's go. I promise I'm gonna try not to lose my mind. Oh no! The belay. Mm hmm. Oh. Don't put the birthday of someone as your password. My heart races. <laughs> This style He owns this color It's like they know all of my weaknesses and they're like, let us use that against her. It is got more harsh, no? I love the styling of this comeback. Give me more rapper singing. Oh, that's the name. Oh, I know this place. <laughs> I'm in love with the logo, are you kidding me? The animation as, at the end was just brilliant. Okay, I'm just really into animation nowadays, that's why. Anyways, this honestly was a lot better than what I, what, what I was expecting, basically. Like when I saw the teaser, I was like, okay, this is gonna be good. But like, I wasn't expecting it to be that catchy, if that makes sense. Because when I saw the teaser videos, I thought that the song, sorry, <laughs> that the song was going to be 
maybe too bright and uplifting for my mood at the moment. I've got those moments, you know, where I'm more into like a sexy, sensual concept. And I've got other moments where I'm going to be reaching out for like more uplifting concepts, you know? At the moment, I'm definitely more into this sexy thing. And so that's why I, when I watched the teaser, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be my thing, but not for now, if that makes sense. However, now that I've watched the music video, I changed my mind. Because the song in itself, like the melody, the beat, etc., might sound a uplifting a little bit, but the overall vibe is still sexy and it's still mature. It's not the type of sexy that's like right in your face, that is blatant and obvious, you know? It's more like, restrained it's more minimal it's like a minimal sexy but still enchanting and sensual if that makes sense and i like that so i'm not complaining on top of that the chorus is like super catchy the aaa part is like already stuck in my mind you know now there's one thing that i absolutely adore about this is they are singing i think this is one of their songs with the less rap parts like full on rap, you know? They technically have like two members who are capable of rapping and yet there is almost no rap in this song. And even though I'm like a fan of like rap parts in a song, I love this because it gives like a contrast between their voices. JR is adding this deep side to the song and so it, like I said, it gives this contrast between their voices. And I like this a lot. The acting game is really good as well. It's like they're each portraying a feeling of like breakup or something. Like, yeah, like I said, it's almost like they're showing different sides of like going through a breakup. Oh. So at the beginning of the video, Biko is like starting off with this uh, marble or like, I don't know what that is, what material it is, but like he's trying to sculpt something, right? And so we start off with that. And at the end of the music video, we see the statue being completed, right? And the members standing around it. I wonder what the number eight means. I suppose it's like the infinite sign, right? There's, I guess there's a signification there. I don't get it. Like endless love or like you always end up with that same person. I don't get it. The transition from like the dominoes falling to them dancing is so freaking cool as well. Like the transition is like, are like so, so good. And the camera movements are so good as well. It's funny how there's this contrast between the more, what is it, modern, avant-garde almost type of uh, styling with the dominoes and everything and their styling and the more antique type of architecture. Aphrodite? Is Afro Aphrodite? Aphrodite? Aphrodite. I don't know, there's something going on there that I don't get, but I get that I enjoy watching it. Like me every time I watch a K-pop video, honestly. <laughs> All right, bottom line, it is a lot better than I was expecting. I feel like the line distribution is a lot better as well. I wish we had seen a little bit more of the choreography, but I enjoy each panel. Like each member has a panel and a story and I like it. I liked it. Basically. And so yeah, I'm gonna wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.